here I have a Honda uh, Inverter EU2000i Companion 30A. Uh, you may have seen my other video uh, on the non-Companion, uh, just a straight uh, Honda EU2000i, and I put a hour meter on it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put an hour meter on the Companion because it's a little bit different than the EU2000i, mainly because uh, the Companion doesn't have a 12 volt outlet for like the uh, 2000i does. So uh, on doing that I had to come up with a 110 version, 110 volt. And you see here I've got the hour meter installed and it looks just like the other one that I had. That's a 12 volt model. They do make these in a 110 volt model also. So either way on the 2000i you can even use the 110 volt and using the same method that I'm going to show you today, uh, install it. So I'm going to just take the cover off and you can see here uh, the inside is really everything is different. Uh, the hour meter comes down. I cut my hole out. I marked it uh, based on this. And just like the 2000i, uh, if you've seen that video, you have to make sure when you cut your hole out. I use the Dremel, uh, and I just measured the uh, the backside because this sticks down a couple inches. Uh, so what I did, I just wind up. I, I cut the hole out. I marked it with a pencil. Cut it out. Just make sure it don't interfere with your carburetor because your carburetor is sitting right here and I moved over probably a quarter an inch or so uh, and you can see when you mark it just make your first mark up here and go out that way because you got plenty of room on the other side without interfering anything so I cut my hoe out and just dropped it in and it's got a little thing that goes on the back that helps hold it but I went ahead and put screws in uh, it just looks neater to me uh, so I got the screws in it and hold it down it just screws into the plastic I use a sheet metal screw just hold it down in the plastic and you notice my wiring comes down uh, comes down I got it go through the keeper it runs back and I got it running way back up in the back and what I did uh, being this is 110 volt uh, it was really pretty easy and you could do this use the 110 volt on the uh, the regular model too without the companion and so what I did was I come up through here uh, you take the four screws out and you open this panel up. And if you notice right here, this is a 100 standard 110 volt outlet like you would have in your home. Uh, so what I did was just tie it in uh, my red on the gold side and uh, I used a uh, the black, it's got a uh, the black wire and it's got a little red stripe because I split it apart. But And it don't really matter what gauge because it uses so little voltage anyway for the iron meter it could be pretty small gauge wire so what I did just unscrew the screws and slipped it in you can get to the screw there and just slip it in this one here is kind of tight because of this so what I did is undo the, the little nut here and one on the back using a little socket wrench and I just pulled the 110 volt plug out uh, where I can easily get to it and uh, once I pulled it out, I was able to put the wire in on each side and I'll run it through this opening right here uh, just like another video. Some people run it through, there's a hole down here which can easily be done but I, I just run it through this little hole right here which goes on in the back come around the back and I was able to find it way back up in the back I just used a uh, little metal rod uh, bent with a hook on it so I was able to grab it and pull it. Make sure you don't interfere with your pull card. Uh, I run it, I run the wires on through, run it down, and I run it through here, cut it off and splice it, and then I put the connections here that just plugged into your 12 volt, I mean your uh, 110 volt, and which is the same as the 12 volt on the other one. And from there, you've got your iron meter, and it works really very well. Uh, again, if you saw my other video, they've got the little electronic ones that stick on, and my other video I had with the regular 12 volt model, there's a little bracket you can get off eBay that hangs down, and it's got the little 12 volt 
um, not the little 12 volt, but it's got the little thing that works off your spark plug wire. And it works pretty good, but I just know that one day it's going to quit because it stays showing hours all the time, whether the generator's running or not, so there's no power. So it means it's got a battery inside. Eventually that battery is going to go down and you're going to lose your hours. I wanted to keep track of all my hours, no matter what, for as long as I own this thing, which I plan on keeping this generator for many, many years. So I just didn't like the option of it going out and having to start over with an hour meter. I wanted to know how long, how many hours I had on this thing for years down the road. So that's why I chose this one here. I got both versions off eBay. I will put a link on this to show you uh, which one I've got. But I put it on before I even cranked up the first time so that I started off at zero. Uh, but even if you didn't, you can always hook up a juice to it uh, if you run it for a while and guesstimate what you ran and uh, put some hours on it or just start off at zero from if it ain't too old. But anyway, that all works. Once I do that, I just put my screws, put it all back in, put my screws back in, and you're good to go. That's it.